we're going to move into the color track. So the color series and painting track. Uh, summer is a perfect time for everybody to really get into color. Um, so there's a lot of really great, great teachers as well as just great classes offered, some of which we do not get during the normal school year. And uh, so students that are looking to advance and move up into AP or just to just become stronger as they go, these this is definitely the next step going from drawing and sketch into using those skills for color. So um, so the first one, we have the quick sketch with watercolor. So the quick sketch with watercolor class is using skill sets for drawing and li drawing live in person at a fast rate of speed. How to utilize these materials to capture things so that they're believable and you can see, but also it's uh, connected to things such as cafe drawing. Uh, a lot of portfolios request that they have actual observational drawings from life in the portfolio and sketchbook like sessions. And this is a class that will put skills into your toolbox to help you execute these things. So it's a very important class for people that are looking to study animation and illustration. And I definitely suggest this one for quite a few people. So now we're going to be getting into the beginner uh, oil painting class. So the examples that we have up right now are examples of student work who have never painted before. And we have three different paintings that they are going to do through the class. And it's an introduction into color theory, how oil works. This is also a prerequisite for wanting to take oil painting class through the regular class, like in our regular classes in fall. Um, and oil painting of this nature is another prerequisite to do AP art prep. So the utilization of color and black and white are both needed for that class, but also this is an, an important class for anybody who is looking to oil paint. It'll give you the foundations to step into the more advanced classes during the regular season. You also need to take this class, though, if you wanted to take other classes ahead of it, such as oil painting flowers. So you have to take the beginner intermediate before you would take this or have experience with those things. So these are still life oriented more complicated in color and structure, and they'll be dealing with more complicated topics, but they'll have them guided through it effectively. But beautiful colors, flowers are hard, but very fun. And so it's a very good thing for people to be getting into. These are also really good pieces for competitions, supplemental portfolios, and uh, the like. So the oil painting landscape. So we start getting a little bit more advanced. Um, we have examples of paintings as well as I believe yeah the paintings from instructors as well as uh, I believe a student painting there but um so also these are uh very good for the scholastic art and supplemental portfolio once again they're very good portfolio pieces in general they're uh taking your value pay pattern based stuff that you did from drawing and sketch the oil painting introduction and mark making and then starting to apply them to create much larger images so and then there's the pets and animals oil painting, also prerequisite of a beginner intermediate and also really good for scholastic art and supplemental. Um, so we have three different versions of things taking from your beginner intermediate class, whether you're interested in going towards still life, animal or landscape so that you can go in different directions from that intro introductory class. But then there's also one class that's considered a little bit more advanced than the others that's the oil painting portrait class. So for students that have a little bit more experience with oil painting who'd really like to challenge themselves, this is a great class for them to take. Also still good for all the supplemental and competition-based pieces, as well as just art school portfolios in general. So we also get into the advanced oil painting of landscape and flowers. We have the workshop reference photos here that uh, students will have access to. So this is for a much more serious kind of college portfolio development and art contest piece. These are all day camps on this one. Um, and so uh, they'll be producing, I believe, two paintings through the through the week uh, that are at a much higher level than the ones that we'd be seeing in the faster paced camps. And they're definitely for the advanced oil painting uh, students. So I'm gonna let each end take it from here for a couple slides. Okay, thank you, Ryan. Yeah, um, actually, I'm. I like to talk about the uh, South Pastel uh, camp. Yeah, because uh, Master Chin Fa Liao is my teacher in Taiwan. I learned soft pastel and watercolor section from him when I went back to Taiwan in the past years. 
And he has an amazing teaching method to simplify the shape, value, and guide students how to approach the colors through the color blocks. I benefit so much from his guidance that I really think students will learn a lot from him. So uh, last year, he taught our soft pastel summer workshops. Within 20 hours, students finished six pieces of soft pastel artworks, including still life, flowers, animals, landscape, and portrait. Yeah, parents told me that they were quite amazed to see the great artworks produced in such a short time. Um, if students never learn the color, soft pastel is, easy, is an easy medium to transform from charcoal to color because they share the same concept. Yeah. And um, also this year, I invite the Master Chunfa to um, add the quick uh, advanced watercolor workshop for uh, uh, for us. Uh, Ryan, can you go to the next next one, next slide? Yeah, can you go to the next slide? Yeah, uh, you're frozen up on me. I'm trying to go right now. Let's see. Yeah, because um, Master Chunfa, he is like uh, not only good at uh, soft pastel, and he is even like uh, quite amazing to do the quick watercolor. It's quite advanced. Then sometimes um, he doesn't use like pencil to do the outline. He just go directly with the color. And you can see that he finished all these pieces within 30 to 15 minutes. Okay, so that is... um. That is a very good skill for students to determine the color and do like a really quick sketch, uh, a really quick like um, just approach on the color really quick. So I think that students would benefit from this from this one also. And uh, Master Chunfa speaks in Chinese, but both me and also teacher Min Chen will help him to do the translation. Um, but R is very self-explanatory by looking and learning from his demo, and uh, students benefit a lot from his uh, from his summer workshop last year. So I think that uh, he is going to be really benefit beneficial for our students also. Okay. Right. Awesome. No, those sound great. Um. So. I want to make sure I can just switch that back and forth since it froze up on there for me for a second. So we also, uh, we have other watercolor camps. Um, so beginner intermediate watercolor, uh, which will be taught by Ming Chen. So this is introduction into color theory and how to make, use, just use watercolor in general, how to mix colors. Uh, they'll paint a couple of uh, simple paintings as well as more complex paintings through the week to uh, give them a good foundation on how to move forward with watercolor, which is, a very accessible medium, but can be very challenging and very fun. Uh, so they go into a more complicated version of landscape and architecture, taking the skills from the introductory one and to paint uh, larger, more complex paintings as they go forward. So these two pair well together or just alone. Um, and so students that are maybe wanting to use watercolor or mediums away from oil watercolor is an excellent addition it's also just as i said it's very versatile it's ready to walk around with and it's a good medium to be uh, handy with so then we also have the night the nocturne mixed media with watercolor so um a more advanced version of a watercolor class where they will be challenged using brighter colors as well as higher contrast to uh, create these images. Night paintings are very fun. They're great portfolio pieces and do well in competitions. Um, but they tend to also bring a level of abstract mark making to them, which can make them very dynamic and fun to look at, even though they glue together to be very realistic. So then we have the acrylic painting. So acrylic painting is actually going to be a really good class for a lot of students to take. Um, in high school in general, acrylic paint is one of the most common paints you'll run into. So if you don't have a lot of experience with it, this is a good class to actually jump in and learn a little bit about some acrylic paint. Um, it does basically, it's kind of like oil, but it's water soluble and dries very, very fast, but it's very accessible as well. And so, and they'll be dealing with a Japanese gardens and forests. And so we have reference photos that they'll have to choose from. And so, yes, this is actually, it's a newer class. We haven't taught acrylic painting specifically until this summer. So I'm excited to see this happening. 